Hi, I'm Roger Cleves, and I just wanted to give you a peek at my MFA exhibition, The Magic Hour. I'll walk you around the gallery and show you a few pieces and maybe give you a little insight into the show. This is a monster reading my, my artist statement or just a chapter or, or what chapter five is about which I based this entire, entire show on while I was creating. I was thinking about um, just a narrative tale of a wizard putting a heroic character to sleep and raising monsters that were being made by being made through abstraction into like dimensional forms. Um, and I don't know. I wanted to tell a narrative tale and take on the challenge of like what would a sculptural painting look like if I if I made it. And I don't know. I want to. I have a for mixing things that shouldn't normally like belong like sculptural oil paintings and silly things like that portraiture and abstraction so the wizard is supposed to turn all of these paintings into things that kind of look like that big guy over there but I don't know whenever you're playing out a show it's always a issue of space that would be the the wizard who I affectionately named um, Potty Mouth. <laughs> all of his words come out on that roll of toilet paper right there. I was gonna string it all across the gallery, but uh, I wanted the viewer to have like a, to be able to move around in here freely, not feel trapped. Is it a painting show? Is it an installation? Mm, I kind of leave that up for the viewer to decide. I, I see it as like a big installation. This would be my heroic character. He's normally dressed in a, a red cape in some of my earlier work, my drawings. He kind of roams around the landscape. And I, I wanted the, the gallery to have that same effect. I was thinking about um, just the way, I've always been fond of Japanese prints and the way they function. You look at them, you don't know exactly how to enter the story. You, you can read it from left to right if you, if you want to, or right right to left or enter from the middle and I feel like the, the gallery experience is the same way you have like a bunch of images you know it's narrative but you have to kind of piece together things in your mind that's the great power of imagination also in my work try to include like satire and humor so this kitty cat like makes me laugh every time I, I look at it it's kind of funny to me. My interest in art have always been abstraction and figuration, comic books and cartoons, epic tales. I can still say that this show is like like highly related to like reading Pinocchio when I was little. And just the idea of um, learning something through some some journey, some adventure that you have, meeting like crazy characters along the way that inform your personality, and just like turn you from like being a a boy into a man. It's one of my favorite pieces. I call it um, um Deaf Wish.
All right, I'm about to wrap it up. I want to thank you for taking the time to be interested in my work long enough to check out this video. The work looks good in video, but it looks a lot better in person. I wish everybody could have seen this show. And by everyone, I mean everyone in the world. <laughs> um, thanks for spending your time with me. I'm Roger Cleese, and I'm out. <laughs>